After a long night of vote suspense, the Social Democrats and its allies managed to secure 90 seats in the parliament. The results paved the way for Prime Minister Mette Frederiksen to form a new government. Care Denmark. I'm so proud. We have had the best election in 20 years. We are a party for all of Denmark. One of the biggest winners in the election are the moderates. The party formed by former Prime Minister Lars Lukas Rasmussen five months ago is now the third largest political party in the country. We have made it to Parliament, where we will make our presence felt. The Social Liberals, who triggered the snap elections, lost half of the seats they had in 2019. They now stand at eight. The centre-right Venstra was one of the biggest losers. This election is its worst performance in 30 years. But the far right has done well, particularly the new right and the Denmark's Democrats, who have expanded their base by pushing a hard line on immigration. The election was dominated by climate, rising inflation and costs of living. People here want to see the government preserve the country's welfare state, one of the most generous in the world. Both Frederiksen and Rasmussen agree a centrist coalition will ensure stability and put an end to the outsized role that small parties have been playing over many years. But it's too early to tell whether the Prime Minister is willing to make enough concessions to convince the moderates to join her government. Hashim Al Jazeera, Copenhagen.